Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Did Jesus empty himself of divinity? For many years, questions have circulated around the issue of Jesus and his divinity with his time here on earth. Now we know that Jesus is God and there's absolutely no arguing that point at all. But was Jesus God while he was here on earth or was he merely just a man? One side of the argument says that Jesus' divinity remains with him throughout his time here on earth and the other says that he had to be a man just like us. But let's take a bit of time to try and unscramble this. The theory that's used to describe Jesus emptying himself is called the kenosis theory which derives from the Greek word kano, which basically just means to make empty. What's being said is that Jesus became a man and fulfilled the covenant between man and God to fulfill the law. So in saying this, he was tempted as a man in all areas. He walked and was led by the Spirit. He fulfilled the Father's will and done nothing of himself, ate food and slept as a man. And here's the big one. He put aside his glory, which he had with the Father. So it's quite reasonable to think that Jesus was just a man. But then, are we neglecting his divine nature by thinking this way? We see the foreknowledge that he has in certain areas, like those who he knew that would betray him. We see how he had the authority to call 12 legions of angels to his aid. We see him transfigured at the mountain before some of his disciples. We also see how he had the authority to forgive sins on earth. And so this leads us to understanding the hypostatic union, which is basically the union of the two natures of Jesus. Not only does this clarify his deity, but also helps us to understand that Jesus walked as a man to model out God's divine will for us to be able to follow. And it's only the uniqueness of Jesus do we see this example walked out. So this helps us to know that when divinity and humanity meet in the person of Jesus Christ, there is perfect order without compromise on either end. Be blessed.